Ta-da! This is Tom the Beer Whisperer. See you in Nevada. Southern Hemisphere Harvest. Part 2. Okay. Let's pour this in here. Sierra Nevada. Do you like them? Now to Chico, California. Their pale ale was one of the, you know, one of the, the early, you know, craft beers that you can get. Of course, you know, back then we didn't call them craft beers. We didn't use those pretentious terms. They were just beer. I'm buying, uh, there was micro brews. Or, you know, I'm buying the good beer. You didn't have to have a specialty term like craft beer. This was just craft beer. Um, it's got a great color to it, doesn't it? Ah, uh, whoo! Wow, sir, what a week! Looking forward to picking up uh, our little buddy tomorrow. So right now I'm just kind of relaxing and enjoying the beer. We we'll have to get up early, go get him, and come home because uh, he won't be able to do his chemo this week. I already read you this the the particulars about this one. Uh, in part one, I'm assuming. You can remember. Um, six, seven, sixty-six were the numbers on it. Uh, it is good. Um, you know, when they first came out with uh, uh, their celebration ale way back when, I mean, uh, which is basically, they didn't call it an IPA, but I mean, that's basically what it was. A lot of people seem to think that it's brewed with a lot of spices and stuff, but it's not. It's it's really an IPA. Um, uh, you know, IPAs weren't weren't big and hip back then, so uh, it, you know you you've got to really give them uh, credit for having a foresight to understand at some point Americans were going to build up a palate. And it did take a while, though, you know, for, for hoppy beers. So generally, I've got some friends that are just getting into the craft beer thing, but but they're not up to the I, I, IPAs at this point. In fact, the one, uh, his wife told me that uh, right now she she can't, she doesn't have the palate for them. She's, oh, when she tastes, she's tried several different ones, and then oh, it, it's, to her it just tastes like it's bad. But she hasn't developed where you could taste the the the, the you know the various uh, flavors, the grapefruit, the pine, the various shades of citrus, and and appreciate them yet. And and I think a lot of it is like a uh, spicy foods or you know uh, you know seafoods, uh, rich seafoods. Uh, you know I think sometimes maybe you have a taste for it and sometimes you don't. Some people are born with that big palate that like those big flavors right away. You know just like people. That can drink whiskey right away and taste the sweetness uh, and the smokiness from a, from a good small batch bourbon. And some people don't. All they get is burn. I think the same is probably true with, uh, you know, an IPA uh, or, you know, any heavily hot beer such as this. Uh, this one is really beautiful because... Uh, well, it's just put together extremely well. It is it's designed not to be overwhelmingly hoppy. I mean it's six seven sixty six. Those aren't super big numbers, but they're but the way the hops are employed is what makes this a special beer. And that's why Sierra Nevada, uh, you know, their their torpedo IPA, the celebration, you know, they're 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 my stroves make a noise. Man, my belly keeps turning it on. Anyways. Well, that's the virtues of Sierra Nevada for me. You know, I was going to say, I started to say earlier, the Pale Ale, that was one of the early ones. And I, and I really haven't been an extreme fan of the, the, their Pale Ale, but I like several other their flavors. Uh, but, the, I mean, anything they do in an IPA form seems to be just wonderful. The Torpedo, uh, this here, uh, the Northern Hemisphere, the Celebration, everything, I just love to death. So, anyway, this one ran a little bit longer than I expected because I just kept talking. So, anyway, this is Tom the Beer Whisperer. I'm going to go finish my beer. You all have a good evening.